with how eerie and mysterious the last episode was, I'm actually very happy that this one's called Argonaut slash Heroes Return. Because I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, Season 3, Episode 12, the finale. Uh, real quick, before we get into any recap or anything like that, the first and last episode of every season of every anime we watch uh, on the channel, which is normally the full length, which is normally available only on Patreon, is available to all you guys. So if you guys want to see the full length, then come back here after for the review and all that. Links are in the description. Just want to get out the way early. With where we left off last episode, Hermes is doing some fuck shit with the Xenos. They're all trapped in the secret passageway. The notes that were supposed to be made by Daedalus that were given to Oranis from Hermes. From Hermes. So Hestia had some sort of revelation with that. We're going to find out what that is. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. And then we have Belle and Haruhime and Wine and all that. Eyes who switched her side. I just, I literally have no idea where this could go. I'm just, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it. If you guys want full length and early access to this show, you know what the next show is gonna be Jujutsu Kaisen. You guys wanna see that early? Make sure to check out that Patreon down below. Always available to you guys. If you guys wanna support me in Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with you with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias Instagram Twitter and Twitch at Dapper Darius thank you guys oh so much let's hop into this Don Machi season 3 episode 12 the finale oh I was literally just gonna say I forgot about Asterius too as I hear this coming up I completely forgot about Asterius Ooh, and Otaro because he recognized him right as doesn't even want to doesn't even That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, what did he mean by that? He said you like heretical monsters. Gross in the What is Gross and the rest of them doing? I'm so curious. And what was that bracelet with Aina and Hermes? Okay. Is he doing this to put Belle back in the people's good graces? So that's why Gross obviously isn't going for any lethal attacks. You can tell he's just punching people, knocking people out. What is that bracelet? See, it has something to do with Bell. That's why he. Okay, nice Bell. I see. So, this whole thing must have been one long con because when he gave the bracelet to Aina, he told her to give it to Bell. But she couldn't take it off, so it must be a thing where, you know, obviously it was going to be her, was gonna, she was going to be the target of whatever fake attack this was, and Belle's going to save her. Big ol' Zeus! This is your path. Big ol' Gramps. Do not steal your will to others. Yeah, he definitely went against what Hermes wanted. He he forced their hand. He called your bluff. Called your bluff, Hermes. Yeah, fuck you, Hermes. Mm. 
We might not need our play actors. We might be able to actually... That literally looked like it killed Bell. If we could take down Asterius, we might get our honor back in full. This fucking... And this is literally the rematch of Season 1. This is insane. This is... Okay. Oh, he's talking right now. Is he? It doesn't seem like his mouth moving. I thought it was in his head. Yeah, I think it is in his head. Oh, he is talking. Wow. I didn't realize he was so... I Obviously, he's sentient. I didn't realize he was so vocal and eloquent. And it's like a formal challenge. That's very honorable, the way he did that. Yeah, he came in kind of hot, boy, but... Would you grant me a rematch? Would you do the honor? He is so strong. He was able to keep up with eyes one armed. There's no way Bell can do this. I do like the fact that Aina can see him in action, <laughs> but I don't like any other aspect of this fight. Because my boy's in danger. So they set this up particularly, yeah, that's why Otaro was like, these are all Freya's familia. This is crazy. Yeah, fuck you guys and your sneaky plans. That's exactly what Bell's doing right now. Look at my boy Mord. I know he was pissed at him like last a couple episodes ago, but that's where Otaro threw that sword. He knew Bell would need it. Make sure I'm still recording. I like that. Yeah, but what did he say? A hero's courage? Yeah, the sage's wisdom, a hero's courage. But the thing that was actually able to stop his plan was his pure willpower, resolve, and strength. You know, the whole... That's, that's, Hermes is quite smart. That is crazy. Yes, she has. Very much so. Damn, bro. My boy Bell is nuts. This is such a crazy fight. Close up fireball. Nice call. Catches the sword midair. Goes right back in for the quick dash. Right on the belly. The nine slash. Fucking. Oh, that was a dope little scene. With the sun rising on the horizon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that looks dope. His realist rephrase is going to make him like a level fucking 12. <laughs> we got Aisha. We got Ryu watching. We got Miyak. We got Naza. Hephaestus. Tsubaki. Take Mikazuchi. Wiene can feel him. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, that camera work is actually insane. Even the sword broke. This is just fucking nuts. This episode's blown me away.
Asterius is fucking nasty. Did I ever thought the Minotaur from season one would be one of my favorite Zenos? Absolutely not. Was that battle insane? Absolutely. And I do like how he didn't win, yet his point was still proven. You know, he's still fighting for the people. He's still his honor, I think, should come back. I, th I swear I thought he was going to. That's fucking crazy. That was the ending, bro. Shout out to Fells this season. Fells has been a real one. And I'm so glad Gross is still alive. He's back to training. Yep. <laughs> Damn, that boy is serious. Bro, the next battle season four, if that He's already got his arm back? They said the Loki monster the Loki familia wiped out on the monster, so no one believes they're still up here, so they got the credit, everyone. Okay, everything kind of worked out, somewhat. Aw, she misses Wiene. She was really a mom. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I would be so pissed at Hermes. <laughs> yeah, he deserved, he deserved that. So they said Isbel, once again, he's... What is he doing? What's Bell doing? Once again, he's training? It is training. I love this. Let's go. They've had their differences for sure, but they still have such a respect for each other. With the shot of the tower, Babel going up to the gods, down to the dungeons, infinity. Oh, that was. That was quite the crazy ending right there. Oh man, straight credits. Fuck, it's over. It feels crazy. I feel like I really feel like I've been watching the show for a long time. And yes, I'm very happy that season four has been announced, but I also kind of am sad that I can't just watch the next episode, you know? Season four is going to be insane. Asterius, easily one of my favorite Xenos. That blew me away, one, with how eloquent he is. In a formal, he's like honorable. Like, and easily if he wanted to. He could if easily have killed Bell, but because he's such a deep character, I feel like he not only wants Bell to be alive because he he knows there's an ex he said there was an exchange of wills, like he respects Bell to a certain level, but maybe he can also Bell getting stronger can lead to him being stronger. It's it's deep. It's way deeper than I would expect it for. Like this, the themes in this season have already been way deeper than some of the previous seasons. That's just crazy to me. I I really do enjoy Asterius. That fight, oh my god, the animation, the Argonaut. I'm glad Hermes was able to get... Uh, he admitted he lost, but I'm glad he was able to get, like, uh, and I don't want to say fooled, because they didn't outwit him. He just got outbeat, you know? He didn't... He didn't... He didn't realize how much willpower and resolve Bell had, and that, you know, that'll cost it. He underestimated Bell. It was good seeing Chigusa and Uka again, and how much everyone was helping, everyone was watching. I'm glad Aina got to see him and was there when he lost. She's been witnessing so much more, especially after whatever, after everything that happened originally with Wiene. She, like, slapped him, said, I don't believe you could do, I've done all this. I'm so, we got to see a little flashback of Zeus. I love the words he gave, the advice. Like, I, I want to see him again so bad. I want to see him talk to current Bell. We got to see Otaro. Freya. I mean, yes, okay. So, Hermes did not get outwitted by Bell, but he definitely got outwitted by Freya. Freya is crazy, but it was a win. It wasn't really a win win for her, but if Bell won, great. She's that much hornier for him. If he lost, and it's just another one of her toy things, you know, messed with. Who knew? I don't. I have no idea. I don't even know if she would have let him. I mean, he did lose though. Otaro's just insane, you know. Oh, this is this this season. The show was fantastic. I'm glad you guys had me watch it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Oh, it's so sad to, to, to say, but the next episode, the next show we are watching after this is going to be Jujutsu Kaisen. It's going to be fantastic. I will see you guys there for that. Thank you, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace out.